Good morning everybody. Welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to another Throwback Thursday challenge. Uh, for today's challenge we are using, I'm going to give you a choice of two cartridges, either the Wild Card cartridge or the Just Because cartridge. Now if you don't have either of these cartridges feel free to use an older cartridge of your choice preferably um, or just use whatever you have but the challenge is to also incorporate any kind of embossing either heat embossing or dry embossing you know with your cuddle bug folders and all of that good stuff that's what needs to be um, incorporated in this challenge for this week's challenge so like I said either wild card or just because cards or just whatever cartridge you have on hand and for my card today I am using the wild card cartridge and I'm using this base right here. I always thought this was a pretty base right here with the little scallops with the holes around it. And I use this flower right there for my card, okay? So I'm just, basically I laid it out in my gypsy already. I'm just going to show you um, what I did. And the reason why I really love my gypsy is because you could totally just lay out anything on here that you want to create. So this way there will be no guesswork involved. Um, you could basically just put all of your paper on your mat as is, okay? Um, so for this one here, what I did, there goes the scallop, the scallop base card right there. And that is sized at, um, the height is 4.60. Now if you're using just a Cricut without a Gypsy, you could probably do maybe a four and a half size in your Cricut. And this here, this was a circle. Actually, let me show you really quick. Let me go to my advanced tab and go to my hide right there. Okay, so, okay, this is what it looks like, okay? But I really don't need this back one right there. So the square, all I needed was a circle, so I hid the square. Okay, so now that it's red, it's gone. Okay, so let me click on OK. So I only have the circle there, and that is sized at 5.22. And you don't have to get a circle from here. I just got it because I'm using this cartridge. I figure it's on here already. And you can use any circle you would like. And this is going to basically um, layer on top of that like so. And then with all those flowers, what I did was I just got a whole bunch of different sizes, okay? Like, um, so because this is going to go here. That flower is two inches. The middle size is 1.73, which you could also do one in one and three quarters. Um, and the tiny one is 1.45, which you could do at 1.50, which is one and a half. And it looks like a mess right now. But anyways, um, and then I got a, another one here, one and three quarters, one and a half and 1.18 which you could just do one inch is fine too so I'm just gonna basically and then these flowers are gonna go right there and basically they're just gonna layer right on top of each other so that's one and a half you could do that at one and a quarter and you could do the tiny one at um, the tiny one is one inch okay so that's basically how my card is is going to look um, so I'm gonna show you how we get this card together okay Okay, for my card today, I am using my favorite, favorite stack by Die Cuts with a View called the Immortal Love Stack. And this one has some awesome, awesome um, paper, paper in here. I just love it to pieces. So this is the stack I used for my entire card today. And here goes the base of my card right here. I just went ahead and I just scored it down scored it right in the center okay and here goes my the base the circle okay and what I had did was I used my I believe it's called seeing spots cuddle bag folder to um, emboss my um, see what I did I kinda messed up I should have st uh, stamped my stamp first and then emboss the entire thing but the cool part about it good thing you can you have that option of doing it this way so I just basically Put the folder. I'm going to okay, show you really quick. This is quick. the folder I used right here. So basically, what I did, since I kind of messed up, what I did was I just kind of like just put it right here. I just put it like that, 
and I ran it through the machine and then took it out again and did it the other way and then ran it through the machine and that's how I came up with that okay super super simple okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and just put this down here with my ATG gun and let me go ahead and get this down first and I will show you the stamp set I use one of my favorite stamp sets that I don't use enough okay let me go ahead and put this down here like so okay and for the stamp set I use today is one of my favorite my one and only has some super super cute sentiments on here it even comes with this adorable frame that you could stamp your any any of these except for this tiny one that says I love you but you could stamp any of them into the frame and they will stamp wonderful in there and there goes the frame right there I'm not sure if you can see that pretty good that's the frame and here goes all the sentiments and the sentiment I use is the one that says faith hope and love and this is what the flowers look like okay this is them right here and what I did was I just got my little eye rock and put a little bling on the center and these are going to kind of go like so so what I'm going to do I'm going to show you how I kind of lifted them up right there so what I did was I just went ahead and just grabbed my little gel, oops, my little gel pen right here. And I just kind of, or anything circle, and I just kind of just lifted them up like this. Just so to give it a different, you know, for them to look just a little bit more 3D. Okay, there goes one. And then this, now this, this red is from the actual the small Immortal Love. I believe it's a, the, um... Four and a half by six and a half pack you know they're smaller packs so this is in from that pack not in the big one okay so what I'm going to do is just grab a pot okay here we go so I'm just gonna grab a glue dot here and I'm going to just put that there and with my flower right on top like so and then I'm going to grab my eye rock here. And then I'm going to put my little bling right there in the center. Isn't this cute? A little, I wish I had red polka dots on it, but purple is my favorite color as well. I, I, I don't know. We found this at Michael's on our shopping day last week. I just had to have that. I thought that was adorable. Okay, so let me go ahead and. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, there we go. I thought my eye rock was running out of batteries. Okay, so what we're going to do is just go ahead and just get this down here in the center. And I kind of just used the biggest, um, the biggest bling I had because these flowers were a little bit on the bigger side. If they were smaller, I would go with, you know, of course, the smaller ones. So I'm just getting this on here. Since this is bigger, it takes just a little bit more just to kind of get through the glue there. There we go. Oopsie. Scooch that over. Okay, there we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm probably just going to just layer these like so. Maybe I'll probably pop that one up. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm, let's see, how should I get these on? You know, I'm going to glue these on using my favorite handy dandy zip dry glue. And I'm just going to go ahead and just glue these down instead. And then I'm going to pop the middle one up. Let's put that one right there. This one. And you know what? Let me grab a pop dot right now and put that one on. So I can know where I'm going to put the other ones. So let me just grab this one right here. And this one, I think I want to just curl up these flowers just a little bit more. Okay, so this one has a pop dot on there already. And I'm going to put this one. Probably like that, yeah. Okay. I know they're not all even, but that's okay. It's quite alright. They'll still look nice. 
Oh, what did I do that for? <laughs> that wasn't a very smart move I just did. I just put the glue on there and put it down. Okay, not very smart. Okay, so let me... Oh, let's see. Let's just put that right there. I think that looks cute. A little cluster of flowers right there off to the side. Okay, so what I decided to do is to get some sheer ribbon. Um, so I just found this pretty red ribbon here in my stash. And I think, yeah, I think I'm going to put that up there. So with this, I'm going to put down with a big, a big glue dot. Okay, I had to find my large glue dots here. Oh yeah, these are definitely big enough here. You see how big these ones are? Okay, so, you know, I might want to fold that like so. There we go. Now I want to do this without covering up my sentiment, so I'm just going to kind of like play with this a little. And what I'll do is I'll probably get a smaller, oh, you know, actually, you know what, I think we could probably, to make sure it doesn't go over like this one's going over my center, I'm just going to get a small little glue dot. You know what, I'm going to do that right now. Let me get the smaller one. Okay. All right, just to kind of hold it back, just to make sure it doesn't cover up my sentiment. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And you can't really tell, see it too much. And then let me just go ahead and grab my scissors. And just cut it. Like so. Actually, you don't have to cut this just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, something super simple. And I really love this stamp set. Like I said, I just don't use it enough. I really need to because I love it. And this is just the same pattern paper that was from that Immortal Love on the inside here. Isn't that pretty? Um, so that's why it's cool so I don't have to put no white. A piece of cardstock on the inside to write on it okay so this is my card for this challenge now you probably want to participate in this challenge only because hold on this is bothering me I have to trim this down just a little bit more <laughs> because this, this is the last throwback Thursday challenge before my next release which is happening on July 22nd um, basically this is the throwback Thursday challenge you want to participate in because this is the challenge where you'll have an opportunity to win the entire set of my um, eighth edition stamp sets which are already done and oh my god they are so super cute and I'm so proud of myself because you'll get to see my drawings I hope you like them as much as I do and there's other three surprises to go along with them. So I'm so excited. So one lucky winner is going to be able to win three extra goodies as well as the four stamp sets I'm going to release in two weeks. Okay? So your deadline for this challenge is going to be on Wednesday, July 20th at midnight. Um, so again, either use wildcard cartridge or just because cartridge and just make sure you have some kind of embossing, a dry embossing or the wet embossing like I did for the um, Faith, Hope, Love. Um, whatever you'd like will work, okay? And any cartridge, if you don't, if you don't own those two, use any cartridge of your choice, but a, an older one preferably. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. And I will see you back here tomorrow for another Friday's tip of the day. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.